So I've had a few of you ask how exactly we do this, um, or how I've been able to do this with my Riker, making the Tron edition of it. A um, few simple tools that you're going to need, just a pair of craft scissors, um, box cutter, or X-Acto knife, anything is like that, it's, it, it's actually pretty sharp. Rubbing alcohol is your number one thing you're going to need, that's just to prep your surfaces, uh, get any of the road grime off, get any of the... Uh, uh, back to black off or anything like that depending on how long you've had your Riker how many Back to black treatments you've done. You're probably gonna have to do that a couple of times to get a real good clean on it The last thing is what sets a heat the adhesive. I've got a heat, craftsman heat gun here um, But you can actually use a hair dryer um, This just kind of helps sets set sets the adhesive on the curves as you curve the tape like you see right up in here helps keep that adhesive set down so that it doesn't peel off on you. Um, one final thing is if you're using a heat gun, I'm just using one of my riding gloves. Um, have a good thick pair of gloves because I mean it, you're going to get a little bit warm so you don't want to burn your fingers. Um, <clears throat> this is that reflective car tape that I had bought. As you can see I'm used about half the roll already. Um, it's taken about five hours to do both sides. Um, so this is a time-consuming process. Make sure you're doing it on a warm day. Um, the warmer, the better. It helps the it helps the adhesive on the tape set and stay set, so that that way you're not peeling off as you're going down the road. Some of the curves are going to be too tight for the full four tenths of an inch thick. So what I do is I just cut it. I cut it down to the size that I want it. You can cut it in various thick things. And that's mainly what the scissors are for, and then also cutting the length. So. This one I still have the backer on. This piece here is actually going to go right up here and along through here. So I'm going to show you what this process looks like. Um, this is a tedious process. You will mess up a few times. Just be ready for that. It takes a little bit of practice to get it right. So you're going to start with pulling the adhesive off just a little bit just to get it started. And this tape that I found actually works pretty good. If you're doing it on the gloss black or anything gloss, it sticks like you wouldn't believe. Uh, the ABS plastic that's right here, um, it's a little tougher to get it to stick to, but with a little persuasion that goes on and it stays on. Um, so, let me move all this over. Get the alcohol off my hand that I still want. You get it lined up, kind of where you want it at. Start it off, press it down. Now we're going to, this is going to be kind of a hard one because I can't do my usual movements of my hands. But we're going to push up and then as we get to the corner, and you're going to pull it, peel it a few times as you kind of do this. But what ends up actually happening is as you do this, you want that kind of bubbling up like this on the curve. Not too much so it doesn't crease. Um, and then you'll actually start bringing it and you'll notice it, it wants to kind of do a certain way you'll feel it with your fingers it takes a little bit to get it all persuaded right and you're you're actually stretching this as as this is happening so as it goes along and as you can see I'm pulling up and pushing down but that kind of gives you the idea of what happens there I've still got to bring it down a little bit more uh, this corner didn't go exactly like I was planning on it so I'm probably gonna redo this some corners even when you turn around and do these like they are or do them like they are it just does not bend to that angle um, I'm actually glad that that happened there I'll fix this here a little bit but I'll continue on with what I'm doing here and kind of keep you're going to kind of keep your eye on your line you want to follow a line so like if you start an eighth of an inch from the top of the curve you want to keep that just to keep that look good so we'll kind of start working this here's the second curve here and as you can see i'm kind of working and pulling working and pulling and if you look real closely you'll see right now that i've got some little bubbles right there that's fine that's what the heat gun or uh hair dryer is going to be for so now we're going to come like this. And 
And this is a lot of the trial and error on this corner. That's how I know that I'm going to need to redo this. I'll actually straighten all that back out and put it back on there. So. As you can see, I'm just peeling as I'm going and coming up to this corner. Now, if you stretch it too much, it will tear, so you got to be kind of patient with it. I've got a big bubble right there, or curve. All right, so I'm gonna leave that one like that because like I said, I'm gonna change it on this side. So this is where your little box cutter comes in. I've opted for sharp cuts, just like what you see here. Um, if you're more artistic and wanna have some fun with it, you can turn around and do curves or whatever. Um, eventually these very sharp points will end up coming up. Um, that's just a matter of, you know, how long you ride it. I ride in every temperature. It doesn't matter. I ride it. I ride in rain, everything. So I'm expecting this to probably last, oh, about a year or so before I may have to redo some of the pieces, which is not a big deal. This tape's fairly cheap, so it's not too big of a deal. So when you go, when you're ready to cut your tape, get yourself lined up where you want. Kind of keep with your, your edging on that. Don't push super hard, just enough to score the tape. And then it just comes right off, just like that. So on this, I'll show you what I was talking about with the heat gun. You can probably clearly see that in the video. Put my glove on, get my heat gun warmed up. I'm just gonna lightly hit it. And then you're gonna work it. Don't need an excessive amount of heat on this, because uh, if you do, it'll just flat out melt the tape. I may have to redo that piece, as I just noticed now that I've got a little tear right there. So this entire piece um, will actually need to be redone, which is not too big of a deal, considering I cut that one piece in half from what it was originally was. So I've got the exact same piece right there. When I laid it out, I just went like this. That way I measured out exactly what I wanted. And then I cut just a couple inches extra. So that'll give you a, kind of a little bit of an idea. Um, ABS, you gotta be a little bit more uh, tenuous with, but once you get it going, it's, it works out pretty well as you have seen it on the right. Thanks for watching.